Hello there folks and welcome to another episode of the BRO Reloading Bench. Rachel and myself come back down to the Rush Family Range real quick to test drive this new Stoger M3500 that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. We're going to see if it likes some of the stuff that goes well in everybody else's shotguns that y'all stand by. Alrighty folks, shooting my new Stoger M3500 and yes, I got the old original style. I didn't get the V2 because this one was $200 cheaper than the V2. That's why I got this one. We got brand new primed Fiocchi from Ballistic Products. I've got 34 grains of blue dot under an LBC 50 wide with an 8th inch 20 gauge wide in the base of the LBC 50 wide. And we've got 20 pellets of 31 cal single alt covered in number 47 buffer and a beautiful roll crimp. Shot number two with a three and a half. We got a brand new uh, three and a half inch primed shitite from Ballistic Products. 34 grains of blue dot. A TPS, a three inch factory, uh, factory split, three inch TPS wide with an eighth inch 20 gauge wide as an undershot card. And we've got Let's see what we got. We've got 27 pellets of seven millimeter, 27 pellets of seven millimeter or 275 cal, which is a full two ounces of lead payload weight and a beautiful roll crimp. All right, shots one and two, and we continue to be at 50 yards. All right, folks, uh, this is the Stoger M3500. It's brand new, but it's the old style, and it takes the same chokes that the uh, M3000 takes, which is, a con which is convenient for me. All right. 20 pellets of 31 caliber single alt. All right, here we go. Eleven thirty-eight. Lord have mercy! It pushed leaves twenty foot up there, but the recoil was not bad at all. Yep, it roasted the tip. We'll cut this one back to a three-inch round. A matter of fact, this was the second time I had loaded this one already. As a matter of fact. All right, 20 pellets of 31 caliber. Boy, that's a lot of hurt going down range. Well, holy monkey muffins. Wow, what a pattern. 20 pellets of 31 cal. It was moving at 1130 something, I think. Mercy sakes, Rachel, honey, what we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 of 20 is what I see there. They look like be awful wadded in there barring any double hits. I don't see too many flyers. But holy cow, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in a 12 inch circle. 12 in a 12 inch circle at 50 yards. Mercy sakes. Well, let's try that uh, that seven millimeter round and uh, and see how it does. And folks, I didn't know if you noticed when you saw the BRO gear, this is a work in progress. I've already got uh, an optic rail sitting here for a Sig Sauer optic that I picked up for it. And I've got a kicks buck kicker light full in this one which is a 700 constriction which is basically an improved modified is what it is 
is what kicks cause a light full. That's the choke that I've got in this super mag here. All right, this is the uh, this is the seven millimeter, 27 pellets of seven millimeter, full two ounces lead payload weight. 27 pellets of basically 275 or 28 caliber. Eleven ninety two, very manageable recoil, very manageable. I'm impressed. Don't seem to hit me any harder than the three inch does. Yep. Well, it roasted the end of the um, of the hole. We'll have to cut it back to a three inch. Works for me. <laughs> Gracious, dead center to pattern and center to paper. And almost complete coverage on that paper. 27 pellets of uh, 275 caliber is pretty tough stuff. Boy, that would work great as a coyote load too, wouldn't it, guys? My, my. I mean, what a beautiful pattern. Uniform coverage. There was 27 pellets of 7 millimeter or 275 cal in there. All right. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, twenty six, twenty seven. I got all twenty seven pellets. Wow. That's impressive. I am impressed. What a beautiful pattern. There'll definitely be some in the belt when we're shooting that one. 27 pellets of 275 caliber 7 millimeter and that was out of a uh, regular TPS 3 inch TPS factory split wad. I think I might have loaded some with the LBC 50. If I haven't, I will and we'll see how it works out of that. My, my. All right, I got a couple of 3 inch of the regular uh, loads that I usually shoot out of my M3000. We're going to check those and see how this new 3500 does with the 3 inch. Y'all stand by. Alrighty, folks. Tried and tested. Field tested here. This is a brand new three inch primed shittite from Ballistic Products. We've got 27 of a long shot. And you see, I got an over powder napkin here to keep any powder from migrating up here. We got a uh, precision reloading TUPRW 123 red wad in here. And we've got 24 pellets of 28 caliber or number two and a half BAM buckshot in here all covered in number 47 buffer beautiful roll crimp shot number two another one of my favorites becoming rapidly one of my favorites new primed three inch hole from ballistic products 33 grains of blue dot under an LBC 50 wad and we've got an eighth inch 20 gauge undershot card and we've got 16 pellets of 31 cal single alt, number 47 buffer, beautiful roll crimp. This is one of the tried and true years and years, that 16 pellet 31 cal in the field. Only we've got the, uh, the LBC 50 here, and I'm expecting it to do well. It has tested well, so we're going to see how it does out of this 3500. That's going to be our last two shots, folks. All righty. 24 pellets of uh, number two and a half 28 cal BAM. Alrighty. I didn't mention we, we don't have, I didn't put an undershot card in this uh, TUPRW-123. No undershot card, just standard wad. Just standard stack in the wad with no undershot card. See how the 3500 likes that one. Twelve eighty five. And just like it roasted the very tips of it, but we'll cut it back to a two and three quarter. That thirty five hundred 
folks. Look at that. I mean, it is shooting dead center. Pattern is dead center at 50 yards. This was 24 pellets of the number two and a half BAM, the 28 caliber BAM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I got twenty-one on paper, but gracious, right here we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 29 cal here in a 14 inch circle dead center. And you know the BAM shot is it's mostly round, uh, but it's super hard stuff. Super hard stuff. That's excellent. All right, let's go, uh, let's go shoot this last one out of the LBC 50 wide and see how it does. All right. Last one is uh, is the new Prime Shadite with uh, 33 grains of blue dot under an LBC 50 wide. 16 pellets of my powder coated 31 caliber single off. Have to say that that is a BRO favorite. Has taken a lot of big game. Twelve fifty three. Yep, beautiful. We just have to cut it back to a two and three quarter roasted edges with the roll crimp. All right. All right. Rachel said she counted all sixteen of them. Grace, just look at that wad of pellets right here in the center of the paper, folks. Rachel, is that two double hits right there? Or is no, that just a triple hit? I think it's a triple hit. It's a triple hit, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. She is right. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one caliber right here. Dead center of the paper. I am impressed. I am impressed. Looks like we got a good one. Thank you, Mr. Gary Kasky. Thanks so much, buddy. You uh, you helped make it happen, and our patrons all helped make this happen, so that I can start focusing a little bit more on the three and a half inch stuff too, and be able to come down here and shoot it without worrying about loosening fillings and stuff like that. All right, we got a lot more to do, folks. But this is the prelim. This is the first time I've pulled the trigger on that brand new shotgun. Y'all stand by for a lot more. We uh, we got a lot of hunts coming up. It's uh, we just getting started, so y'all stay with us. That M3500 is a beast. I love the way that it handles. Point of impact is dead center using the uh, the rail and the sight, and uh, that light full has performed perfect in it. And the three and a half inch uh, rounds were extremely manageable. I'm very impressed with the first few shots with that shotgun. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the video. We will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.